Staying out of your inbox is the important discipline to get into if you want to start saving time. And the only way you can do that is to have easy to perform tasks in the places where you spend most of your time doing work. So in Teams, for example, I've got this message come in. I'm thinking to myself, I need to set up a meeting with Mark about this. I want to understand what the updates were, for example, so I can take any necessary steps going forward. So what I could historically do is go into my inbox, find Mark, set up a meeting, maybe pay some details about this in, but there's a quicker way. And the quicker way starts with a click. First of all, go to any message that you want. This works in the Teams desktop and it works in the Teams web client. Click on the ellipse there. You might see actions here. You might see things that you can click here. We'll come on to that in other videos. Click more actions. Again, you might see some actions you can take here. Click create new action. You'll see these things called workflows. You don't need extra licenses for this. It's all part of Teams. Have a look under Editor's Picks and look for Schedule a Meeting from a Message. You can give the action a name. Here, I'm going to keep it like that, Schedule a Meeting from a Message. It's going to check that you've got authority to do work in Teams and it's just going to grant some permissions to you as a person. All you do is click Next. It's going to ask you where you want to save your meetings. Well, I want to save them in Calendar when I create them. It's going to ask you for a time zone. This is just so it knows the default parameters for any meetings. When you're happy with those really simple steps, click Add Workflow. You do that once, it's all set up. Next time you go to a message, click the ellipse, click More Actions, Schedule a Meeting from a Message. It's going to run that workflow and ask you a few questions. Once it's been created, you can click across to view the meeting in your calendar. Your setup might be a little bit different to this. It may not take you straight there, but you'll see that it's just created the meeting for me. It's created it with Mark and there you go. It's all done from one click. Next time you go in to use these actions, popular ones that you use all the time will be in that first menu. If you want to know where these flows actually get created and you're a bit into Power Automate, they're created in the default environment of your Power Platform. They'll be under My Flows for you as a user who initiated that process. You can see the one I just created here. If you want to go and look a bit deeper, you can click Edit and you can go and have a look at the flow that's been created for you. But that's only for those with more advanced skills or that want to understand what's just been created for them in the background by Power Automate. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this and I'll see you in the next one.